they are now grown up. So parents, kids do not need things. Kids need parents who spend time with them. Easy. Remember daddy, mummies? Daddies, you will call up your friend. Hey, hello, bro. Come, let's go for a drink tonight. It's Friday. You are looking for friends, company. Hello? Hey, there's sales coming up. You want to come along? We go and take a look. What are some good deals in the departmental store? What about your children? They need your company. They just need you to sit with them. Allow them to even read a book. You may say, yeah, but Josie, they can't recognize words. They are not even able to differentiate what are these words. It's fine. Just sit next to them. Enjoy the moment with them. Allow them to tell their story, make up with their own stories, because this talk about imagination and building up their confidence. Well, you never know when they go to school, they will be the one going up on the stage and tell stories. So why do you need to, you know, make sure that they are able to read and know they need to read correctly? It's okay. Allow them to, to talk, to share. So parents, remember you are the Superman and you are the Wonder Woman. Your children are superheroes. Look at this picture. I just love it. Empower your children. In what way? Guide your children to keep away their toys. Guide them to put them away. This is about sorting colors, categorize, where is the proper way to put them, build up response, building up responsibilities. Look at this picture. Again, it talks about sorting, about color, about organizing. Organize their study table. I have a parent who told me, Josie, oh, look at my son's study table. Worksheets everywhere. Book stationaries are all over on the study table. And I have to help him to, to just put them away. So I asked the parents, why are you doing this? The thing is, we are always having this expectation. No, it has to be this way proper, okay, in this manner. We are not allowing our children to learn. Allow them to just, you know, pick up slowly. My two boys is having one bedroom. They share the bedroom. For many, many years, I have not stepped into their room to even help them to tidy up their rooms. How did I do it? When they were very young, they actually fold their clothes, okay? And, you know, I, I told them, I said, hey, look here, this is your study table. It's your job and responsibility to tidy up your table. And guess what? Their table is very neat. It doesn't snap that happens. It's because I guide them step by step. Another picture, this daddy, is telling the children what to do. Yes, you fold the clothes, you hang up the clothes in this manner, put the pack in this way. Okay, parents, is also, this daddy is also telling them, you know, how to hang the clothes properly, sort them accordingly. Simple house chores, they definitely can do it. <laughs> yeah, come, let's play this toy together. It's okay, you may have my toy. Look at this. The brothers, the smile. The, it's, it's, it's just so simple thing. And, and they just, you know, laugh and giggle. That is why I always say children are so beautiful. Take care of each other. Explain to them 
you know, you are the older brother, you have the responsibility to take care of your younger brother. And you tell the younger brother, your younger son, you need to listen to your older brother because, all right, he is, he knows a little more things than you. And both are my beautiful son. Tell them that. Mommy, daddy loves you. I tell you, they will be so happy to hear that. Look at this very simple roster stated here. It says TV and computer roster. Okay, this is just a sample. You may do up a simple roster, okay, for your child. You may draw pictures, okay, because your children are, are not able to read. Draw pictures like, you know, a TV, draw pictures um, like a meal, a plate with some rice, noodle, and that is your meal time. Draw pictures or you, you happen to have some stickers, all right, paste on it and say, this is nap time, draw moon, sleeping time. So a roster will actually help your child. That is where you have to tell your child, you know, when you look at this moon, okay, that, time, that means it's a time, it's time to go to bed. You need to brush your teeth. Guide the younger siblings. Guide the elder one to take care of the younger one and say, hey, let's play a game together. What game? Children love to play. Okay, um, today we're going to play teacher and students in the classroom. So we're going to have um, the elder one be the teacher and the younger one be the student. And then allow them to swap their role. This play will last them for a while. And while they're so busy with their play, that's where, okay, you say um, one hour play is your play and make sure, okay, um, you swap the play, you know, swap the role and then mommy can focus doing something. This is where you can have your breather. Another picture. Picture always tells us thousand words. Meal time. Doesn't mean that when you are having meal together, you are talking about, well, tomorrow um, you're going to have your spelling. Make sure you bring 100. Uh, you have full marks. You're going to talk about schoolwork again. You're going to talk about academic again. There's so many th topics that you can cover during meal time. Well, laugh over some funny things, you know, over each other. If you notice, having a good relationship lasts. And it's important to have a good relationship with your family members, your children, your spouse, your family members like your siblings. Reasons being, good relationship makes communication easy. You can talk anything. Lower down your expectation. Okay, um, well, over me, we are still talking about, you know, you're always very callous in your math. Can you please be more careful when it comes to calculation? Allow them to learn. Allow them to fall and pick up and move on. Parents, I have a sample picture here. Maybe your next picture, you're going to take a picture like that. Things may seem crazy for now, parents. I know it's tough, but someday you will miss this. Just like me. Well, you look, take a look at me, you know, on the screen right now. I look good. But those days when I tear my hair, nobody knows. And now, snap, my boys have grown up. The cra those crazy days are gone and I miss them for sure. Parents, every child is a genius waiting to be discovered. Your children are brilliant. Just be very patient with them. Always listen to them. You'll be surprised. When my boy was, my younger boy, when he was younger, he told me, he want to be Garanguni. 
So to me is why garang guni, which is rack and bone. Yeah. Okay. So to me is why does he want to, you know, pick up this professional? He told me, he said, because I can recycle the things. I was like, wow. Learning indeed can be fun. How? How can you make learning fun? If you know the right techniques. Parents, are you aware of our left brain and our right brain? Right brain about creativity, imagination, transformative learning, whole-oriented, parallel processing, understanding, free flow. These are from our right brain. My younger son, he is very creative. When he was at the age of four, he took my shoebox. I bought a pair of shoes and the next morning, the shoebox is missing. I was like, where is my shoebox? And guess what? He actually took my shoebox. He used the scissors, he used the scotch tape, he cut and he pasted and all over the box, the shoebox simply just transformed into something else. He's simply very creative. He's using so much of his right brain. What about left brain? Logic, reason, informational learning, detail-oriented, serial processing, knowledge structure. My elder son, who is now age 20, he uses a lot of his left brain. How do you know? Well, you are able to observe what your children is doing. It actually tells. So parents, this is the opportunity for you to have a better understanding of your child, to discover the talent of your child, put in the efforts in the right direction to develop it. We are here to assist you. Go to Facebook Brilliant Air, contact us at this number, our website and our email. Well, we'll see you next Sunday on another topic, fostering self-esteem. Next Sunday, 13 September. See you at 3 p.m. See ya.